What's going on, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, YouTube. I am going to let everybody get in here. What's up, Tony? How are you? Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, Tanya, how you doing? Tony, what's going on? Myra, how are you? Pam, welcome, welcome. So, as you guys know, tonight we're, we aren't doing the cameo giveaway because I honestly didn't even know if I was going to be able to go live tonight. So, we'll be doing the cameo giveaway on Wednesday. I posted on the Facebook page earlier. But, let's say hi to everybody first. Hold on, hold on. So, we got Christine. How are you? Lone Star. What's up, Kyle? Carlos? Myra? Renee? Jane? Deborah? What's going on? The four of our lease. At a JV football game, waiting for the halftime performance. Sweet. What's up, Sandra? What's up, Eddie? How are you doing, dude? Karina, how are you from Texas? What's up, Kaki? So, we have awesome Suzanne. So, I'm actually in a hotel room in Orlando right now. And we are going to an event tomorrow. And I'm going to hopefully learn some stuff at the event tomorrow and then be back at the, just a one-day trip here. Then we'll be back at the warehouse on Wednesday. So, like I said, didn't know which truck and everything get in Orlando if we would get here in time. Got here about a half hour ago. Figured it's 930. Good time to go on. And we do have, haven't even told you guys yet, but... I just posted them on the website. They said that they just finished. I got a I got an email on the way up from our designers saying that they were just finished. And we have the mermaid pack two and fishing, the freshwater fishing, fishing pack three that I just put on the web literally 10 minutes ago. And I'm gonna show you guys and go through some of that stuff with you guys here. At the Angels Rockies game, sweet Jody, that's awesome. Can someone give me an update on the Cubs score? Oh, notification. Yeah, let me send out the push notification right now. Give me one. Minute. I'm going to go do that real quick. Hold on. So I got to pull the link from the live here. Let me pull in the link here. Four, three Cubs. What inning we got? You guys are awesome. All right. And I need to go to our channel. I'm going to send out the push notification here real quick. Get everybody else in here that doesn't know what's going on, doesn't know we're live tonight. Fifth. Nice. Nice. All right. So we need that. We're going to put that here. There's our YouTube. And let's go ahead and send this out. All right. What's up, Perm? How are you? Top five, Stacy. Thank you. It's mommy time. I like it, Suzanne. Saltwater. Yes, Christy. Saltwater fish are in the first two packs. Did I say saltwater? Because this is freshwater. And I'm going to give you guys the packs here. I'll run through them for you guys. Yeah, you guys know the rule. Everybody, while you're on here, of course, everybody, like Kyle said, shoot that like button real quick because you guys know I'm going to pick a mini pack giveaway winner. No matter what, we might pick it from the likes. We might pick it from the comments. But we're going to pick it from you guys being live right here. So everybody, make sure to click that like button real quickly. And just to let you know, we are going to eventually this week, like I was talking about. This week, we are going to 
Oh, there's a design with Matt on Thursday. I just posted that as well, but I'll go through and I'll show you guys all those things. Okay. So don't worry. I'll, sh I'll show you all that stuff. But this week we have the designing with Matt on Thursday at 9 PM. And this week's designing with Matt is going to be taking an existing design, like maybe a design that you use for screen printing or sublimation, direct to garment, heat transfer vinyl, whatever it is and accenting it with rhinestones. So not necessarily doing a full rhinestone design, but accenting it with rhinestones to add a ton of value to that shirt. So it's going to be an awesome designing with Matt this week. So as you know, with those designing with Matt series, you're always going to learn something. If not, I'll give you your money back. It's never happened. I don't think it's ever going to happen. And you'll get the recording of it as well. Corey, nice to chat with you as well. Love the class. Awesome. Awesome. So like I said, the class on Thursday, and I'll show you where the class is. Give me a second and I'll bring you to the computer here and show you where to get to it. So let me go in here. I'm going to swap my screen around real quick. And we are going to go. into our other area here. So let's go to the website here. I'm going to share my screen. Let's make sure this flips around. If everybody can give me a thumbs up that you can see the website, give me a thumbs up if you can see the website. Everybody good? Can see the website okay? All good? Okay, sweet. So I want to show you where the designing with Matt is here. Okay, so when you're on the website, what you're going to do is you're going to go to shop right here. And remember the first, the first night, which is tonight, webinar will be uh, seven dollars. Okay. I'm sorry for the design with Matt. You're going to on the main screen right here. You're just going to hit the right arrow and you're going to hit it one, two, three times. And you'll see the instructor series. Click on the instructor series and you'll go to the designing with Matt. Once you click that, you only see one of them here. That's ten. So this is actually the eighth week in a row that we've done the designing with Matt series. You'll see one of them that's seven dollars. That's the one that's going to be this week. Okay. So it's going to be on Thursday, August thirtieth at nine p.m. You get a three dollar discount if you get it right away. And I'm going to be covering different ways to accent your designs with rhinestones. So it's going to be pretty valuable to you guys. And it's not just going to be throwing a circle around a ball. It's going to be taking different types of designs, whether it's a knockout, whether it's a regular design, whether it's a font, whatever it is, and just showing you how with minimal cost and minimal work, you can actually accent that design with stones and add a good five to seven dollars in value to your shirt. Who thinks they would learn something or that would be a webinar that would help your business. What do you guys think? Because this is one that I've gotten a ton of requests on of, Hey, I might not necessarily want to do a full rhinestone design, but I want to add value to my screen printed shirts, or I want to add value to my heat transfer vinyl shirt. And I just want to add some stones to it. And maybe I'm only going to use 50, 75, a hundred stones. Right. But it's going to add, probably $10 in value to that shirt, which you're going to have literally 20 cents worth of rhinestones. Okay. So it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. So this one again, $7 tonight. Okay. Now the two new packs that we have, and I'll pull them up in Corel draw as well. If you go to shop artwork and mini packs. Okay. 
Now, the two new ones that you're going to see are the first two right here. All right, first two. What's up, Frankie? How are you? So, first one I'll show you here is the Fishing Live Template Mini Pack 3. There's your different templates and then all of your fish that are in this mini pack. So this mini pack is going to come with down here. You'll see all the different fish that are in this one, but it has your large mouth, your small mouth bass, your spotted bass, your catfish, your bluegill, your trap. So <clears throat> like I mentioned, this one is going to be the first one in your freshwater pack. Okay, again, $10 off tonight, plus the coupon code. Can someone type in the coupon code, the TRW release dash 65, so everybody knows what it is? Coupon code is going to be TRW release dash 65, and I'll make a design with this pack in just a minute for you guys, and I'll show you guys it. So that's the fishing one. Now, to get to the new mermaid one. Last Mermaid one was really popular. This one, again, different lengths. You guys will like this one. So these are the different mermaid layouts right here. Uh, white flat back rhinestones. Ooh, Christine, I don't know about that. I don't. I'll keep an eye out and I'll look. But actual white, I don't know about. White would be more of a painted. That would be more of a rhine stud versus a rhinestone. They might have like an opal color, but I haven't seen white. And then all the different mermaids that come in this pack are right here. Okay. So let's head over to Corel Draw and I can show you some of these things. So I think I need to hold on a sec. Let me pull this back up. And we're back on our camera here. Let's get this going. So what I do need to do is I need to get you over to, can everybody see me now? I just want to make sure we're all good. Everybody can see me. What did you use on the Cubs mug for the white part? I just used crystal on the Cubs mug. I just used the crystal stones. So. That's what's going to match the white the best, but it's also going to. Oh, but it's also, I'm sorry, I was reading some of the comments, but it's also going to bling and give the most sparkle are those crystal stones. So that's by far going to be your best when it comes to that. All right, so let me get over. I'm going to. We need to get our Corel Draw shared here. So let me get over to my screen here and swap out with Corel to show you guys. If you're Ashley, if you're just starting out, where should you start? Um, honestly, Ashley, if you just look on our website, check out obviously our YouTube videos is going to be your biggest thing. But on our website, we have some different little kind of tester starter kits, some regular starter kits. Best case scenario, probably give the warehouse, give the office a call tomorrow and let them know what you want to do. And then they can kind of point you in the right direction. I can look into that toy more as some pearl flatbacks. I can definitely look into that. What's with the back? I'm in a hotel in... Um, in Orlando right now. That's the background that you guys are seeing. Okay, and Corel Draw. So let me go to open templates. I'm going to show you the fishing pack first. Okay, so fishing pack three is going to be this one right here. No, it's not a new office. This is just, um, I'm at the hotel. So this is fishing pack three. You see, you got the single color, multi color, and then more of the gradient fills and everything, sublimation, direct to garment, whatever it is. So all the different fishing designs and packs that we can use this with this pack right here. Okay. So if I wanted to use any of these, I could easily swap these out. And you'll notice the way that we did most of the fish was for that reason. So if I'm going to 
click on here. Oh, you know what, guys? I see what you're, hold on, hold on. Remember, we had this issue the other night. Let me, um, let me go back here. I know what's going on. I got to share my screen because you guys can't see the uh, folders. I remember this from the other night. Hold on one second. All right, let me come here and I'm going to show my entire screen and share. Okay, we should flip back now and you can see. Okay, see me for a second. And now we should go back to Corel Draw here. There we go. Now you'll be able to see. So I'm going to go to Open Template. I'm going to go to the Fishing. Live three, pack three, and these are the different templates in the fishing pack here. Okay, so single color, multicolor, and then the full color. All right, and you'll see when I scroll down all the different sweet layouts for shirts. I mean, those who are screen printers or sublimation direct to garment, you guys can eat these things up. But even those of you who have vinyl cutters, we have versions for you guys as well. And that's what's really cool about it. So let's go to open up this fly fishing one right here. So we bring this into Corel here and we have obviously a shear. If I want to change this fish out with another one, I just go to change artwork and you can use any of your fish from fishing pack one and two well, and just keep using the different templates. So we want to swap this out with a largemouth bass. So I'm going to double click on that largemouth bass and see how it just swapped in there. Perfect. See how freaking easy that is? So now I hit find text and I switch this maybe to bass fishing. And there you go. How easy was that? Does it get much easier than that? So those of you who have, I mean, if you have, I see Todd's here, like a, a rolling Versacam, obviously to make a decal with this, it's gonna take you a couple seconds to swap it out, to make a, a full color shirt with this, sublimation, direct to garment, screen printing, simple with something like this, right? How easy is it to take this mat, this bass right here and we're gonna change the artwork and we want the small mouth bass. I can just click here, oh, license plate, heck yeah, great idea. So I wanna grab the small mouth bass here or the spotted bass I can just double click on them and it's going to swap it out there perfectly. But that's why we kept, we had our designers keep all the fish kind of going the same way. So it's easy to do that. So let's say you got one of the older fishing packs and you had fishing pack volume one and you wanted to swap it out with this amberjack. Okay. Same thing. Click on that amberjack. See how easily that just swaps that out and it just keeps it perfectly into place for everything. So any, any questions on the new fishing pack? Everybody kind of get an idea of how that works. And obviously if I'm doing sublimation, direct to garment, something with this to easily change this, let me change back to the bass. So I'm going to go to change artwork, fishing pack three. Let's swap it out with our bass here. Let's highlight this design. I would just add a cut line for a Versacam. And then let's get it down to a good size for a shirt. Let's do a men's shirt, maybe. 10.5 inches or so, 10.7 inches. I'm going to come over to my mock-ups. I'm going to do a quick product. The product I want is a men t-shirt. Save my product. And the design I want is this one right here. Save my design, create my mock-up. Maybe I need it a little bit higher on the shirt. No problem. Maybe a little bit bigger on the shirt. No problem. And there we go. Maybe we want it to be a yellow shirt. How easy is that? What do you want to see, Joe? Catfish? Yeah, let me swap them out. Okay, let me go back here. Let's click on my bass here. And let's go change artwork. Let's go to volume three. And which, do you want the blue catfish? Or do you want the channel catfish? Or the flathead catfish? Let's go, I'd say the more basic one is blue catfish. Let's double click on this one. And there you go. And that actually matches those blues pretty good too. 
and maybe we just change this to catfishing. So we just go, boom. Oh, you want the flathead? We can swap them out. Change artwork. Let's go to fishing and let's go to the flathead. Boom. There we go. And we can move it to wherever we want. Pretty sweet, isn't it, Joseph? Um, how are they with HTV? They're still pretty easy with HTV. So if I wanted to do this one with HTV, let me just show you guys real quick. I want to go over here to open template and let's go to my fishing pack three, which is the one we're working on right now. And whichever one we want to do, we got all these different areas that so weekends are reserved for fishing, right? We can click on this one right here and I'm going to ungroup it. Okay. Now all of this area, we did all the work for you. That's all knocked out and everything already. See how easy that is. So what I would do is I would take this fish. Let's go change artwork and I'm going to go to live templates, volume three, and I'm going to do the large mouth bass. Okay. So now we have the large mouth bass here. So all I want to do with this is I'm going to get rid of this white part here. Okay and bring him the front. So I want this bass right here to be my very front layer. And the reason why I want him to be my front layer is watch what I'm going to do. Weekends are reserved for fishing. All I'm going to do is convert this to curves. I'm going to grab my bass right here, put him wherever I want. And you guys know what tool I'm going to use, right? Magic boundary down here. So we're going to remove shapes behind. I'm I'm in the bottom right corner right here and just hit magic boundary and there it's done. See how I cut that perfect boundary around this. So this is a, a, a shirt that's simple to do for heat transfer vinyl. So maybe we want to change the colors a little bit. Maybe we're going to say, okay, we have this water area to be maybe this blue right here. And we want this bass to be uh, maybe a dark green. Right. And then we can change these to dark green if we want as well. Maybe this part here as that blue area. And there it is ready for the shirt. The, the full color one, it could work with heat transfer vinyl. It's just got a ton of colors in it. So that's going to be your issue with that. Like I could do this into three or four colors if I want. So if I threw this onto a shirt, it's still going to look pretty sweet on a shirt. Let's grab this. Let's go to my mock-ups. And the product I want is still that men's t-shirt. And the design is this design. And create my mock-up. And check that out. And I can make it a little bit bigger if I want. Honestly, this design right here would probably look best just being all black. And that's a pretty sweet looking vinyl shirt right there or screen print or direct to garment, whatever it is. All right, we all go with the fishing one. Check out the mermaids now. All right, so let's open another page here real quick. I'm gonna go in template and we're gonna come over to the mermaid pack two. I'll do it. I'll do it again on the on the mermaid one here, Becky. I'll show you that knockout again. Todd, you making homemade milkshakes? All right. So here's the mermaids. You can see all of this is live text. Obviously, you can change it to whatever you want. Be a mermaid and make waves. We were mermaid for each other. Always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid, then I'll be a mermaid. Mermaid at heart, I'm secretly a mermaid. Sweet Pilar. Love that. Let me know how that goes with a huge order. So which one do you guys want to see? You let me know. Like I said, we can swap them with anything. Right, the single color one here. This one here. Let's let's just pull up the I'm secretly a mermaid and act like we have a vinyl cutter. Okay. So got this here. 
Okay, I'm going to ungroup it. And we got our mermaid here. Now, remember, there's a lot more designs in mermaids than what you really see. So when I go to change artwork here, watch, even though it only has those templates, a lot more actual mermaid designs that you can swap out with. So we got mermaid pack two. And these are all the different mermaid designs that are in this one. And you can see these are pretty nice looking designs. Even this one, the mermaid's got the little uh, seahorse on her own. Got another one here. So all of these different mermaids come in this pack. So which one am I using? I'm using that one here. So I'm going to swap it out with maybe this one here. So just click on this and then I can move these if I want to wherever I want to. So I can grab these little areas right here. I can get completely delete them if I wanted to as well. I can change this mermaid to whatever color I want. So all of this is simple to do with your vinyl cutter. And obviously, once you get into the direct garment and sublimation side of it, which a lot of you are doing now, Look at the difference of this mermaid and this design. So watch when I change this out. Let me change this mermaid out with this mermaid here. I'll go to mermaid pack two. Same mermaid, but the full color version of her. And check this out. How sweet looking is that with all of the gradients and everything. And obviously you can change the colors of all of these to whatever you want as well. Um, yes, Joseph, designing with Matt is going to be accenting your, like, kind of like what I would do with this de design to accent it with some rhinestones, or what would I do with a font or, or a live template? And it's not, not just going to be throwing a, a circle of rhinestones around a soccer ball. It's going to be more like completely different looking designs and what you can do with those designs, just accenting it with rhinestones. Um, would the mermaid multicolor be okay for glitter? Uh, it really depends on what you're using it for, honestly. You don't really want to, so if I go to change artwork and I'll show you, I think I know which mermaid you're talking about. Let me pull up that one here. So I'm going to go to mermaid back two and let's pull in this one here. So you'll notice that this one here, it doesn't have the gradients and everything. The issue is you still have an orange and a red and a yellow and a blue and a black and a green. So, and a white, you got a boatload of colors there. So that's going to be a pretty difficult design still to do with heat transfer vinyl. However, there are different things. I'm going to give you, show you guys a little trick of what I like to do sometimes. So I'm going to grab this mermaid here. I'm going to go to change artwork. Let's go to my mermaid pack again. Go to mermaid pack two. Let's pull in that single color one. Okay, so we got this one here. We're going to bring back in. Here's what I like to do with something like this. If you're only going to use a, full, a couple colors, right? Maybe do something like this. Let's get rid of the gray back behind her. Come over here and do some smart fills. And I'm going to go here, 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 and here. And then I'm going to select the same color. So it's going to select all of those that I just did. And I'm going to do maybe a, um, a cream color. Okay. So that's my cream easy weed. And then maybe I can just do her hair. Uncolored. But then I can make her maybe just like three colors. So it's a little bit easier to do it. Does that make sense, everybody? Because you don't really want to have an eight or nine color design, kind of like I did on the um, unicorn, right? So if her hair, I wanted to be a yellow, I'm just clicking on these different areas here. And then I'm going to click select same color, right? So boom, boom, boom. And I'm just using the smart fill tool. Okay. So with that smart fill tool, we're all good there. And 
that actually looks like part of her hair there. So I'm going to select the same color. I'm going to weld that together. And I'm going to make her hair yellow. So there we go. That's cool. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I see what Todd said there. Todd, I feel like you're in the warehouse with us. <laughs> Have you guys seen the sublimatable marks? The markers that you can draw on in heat press? They actually, they just contacted me again. They're, they're right down the road from us. And we're going to do, Lisa did a video a while back on it. And that is something that we plan on doing a video on is if you made like a birthday shirt for the little girl and they could just color in all the different areas and then you heat press it and it kind of sets those markers in. But very, very cool for same thing, like with mermaids, with the unicorns, with uh, Christmas designs and Halloween designs and things like that. Lori, you have the markers? Do you like them? I tested them out a little bit. They seem pretty cool. Do you like them? And I'm not talking the markers from um, from Michaels. I'm talking about the, the, it starts with an A. I can't think the aspects or something like that. Does that make sense? Not the washable ones. Those aren't the ones I'm talking about. They actually make sublimate sublimation markers basically yeah frankie you saw them at the show they're pretty sweet pretty vibrant too okay yeah toy ask her if she tried them you have several sets lori okay sweet they're they are literally five minutes from our warehouse um their their rep actually purchases all their stuff from us and comes into the warehouse so i will definitely um i'll definitely get with them carrie are they working good for you i'm gonna flip back here so i can see you guys as i'm talking here do you like them carrie They work okay. Color dolls if you don't darken them. Okay. Buy a set every show you go to. Awesome, Lori. Awesome. Yeah. Arts. Yes, that, Kevin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Arts pre. Yeah, did I say it right? Jody, yeah. Do you guys like those? We were looking at possibly stocking them. Let me know, give me some feedback. If you guys like them, like I said, they're they're right down the road from us. We can we can look into stocking them in the warehouse and, and creating a boatload of videos on them as well. You made some, oh, Joseph, you guys used them at the Cleveland show. I know they had their little booth up there. Yeah, you like them, sweet. Okay, we'll definitely look into them. Ah, Carrie, I'm sorry. Yes, I agree, Lori. That makes sense. Jody, you're in Riverview? Sweet. Joseph, you like them too? Awesome, awesome. Okay, perfect. Yeah, not good, Carrie. Hey, Sharon, how are you? I actually got a pretty good feed. So those of you who said you don't like the new office, this isn't the new office. I'm at a hotel in Orlando right now for an event that we're going to tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't know either, Carrie. I'm sorry. Come on down, Jody. Definitely, definitely. Come on down and shop. 
we're actually in the process guys of we're actually in the process of we're going to probably start it next week and building out the front area of our warehouse into a kind of storefront location that has little baggies of all of our rhinestones to be able to pick through when you walk in and different sheets of vinyl and the shoe kits and all these different things so it's going to be it's going to be pretty awesome we're, we're making a lot of changes for all of our walk-in customers so any of you that are local we're going to start having more classes we're going to even start having classes on uh, like shoe classes like where you can come in, you get your shoe kit, and we're gonna have a training on blinging your shoes out and blinging your this out and doing this and doing that. Kind of like the, almost like the maker's mark type stuff, but with the type of stuff we do. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Yes, Anne Marie, local classes. We're definitely going to start doing some crafting classes, some regular classes our main goal not like we don't do this already but our main goal for the rest of 2018 and going into 2019 is just training training and more training and more live local training as well okay and we're also we're also you guys were on with me on facebook the other night when i was testing out a new system i have at the house we're also going to look because how many of you here have never been, never been? Oh, Jody, before remind me about the trade show question. But after I finish this, Jody, and I'm not sure if you guys have seen before. Have any of you guys seen the images and video or not the video, but the different pictures of when we did the birthday party for Madison at the warehouse? Have any of you guys seen that? Awesome, Pam made your first two pairs of shoes with the flat backs. That's sweet. So any of you that have not seen it, by the way, while I'm going into this, can you guys give me a Cub score update? Are they still winning? Um, any of you that haven't seen that, it was pretty freaking awesome. So what we did, and this is something we tested it out with Madison because we think and I think it could be literally an entire business and it would be a pretty freaking cool business. So what we did is she had like eight of her gymnast friends, still four, three, Jason, while we got like the seventh inning. She had like six, six to eight of her gymnast friends that came into the warehouse. But what they did ahead of time is had the mom or dad for four now, we had their mom or dad email us three pictures of them doing whatever gymnastics or cheer or whatever they did. Okay. And we had them send three just so we could pick the best one for um, the silhouette. And then everybody has seen the split in the designs that we do, right? They're really popular. They were on the USA Gymnastics on national TV that Madison and I were watching on TV last week. I posted the picture on Facebook of someone, a whole family of people wearing our split image gymnastics design. It was pretty sweet. But what we did is they would send in these pictures. We pre-made the transfers ahead of time. So every girl that came in had a transfer ready for them. We told them to bring their own shirt. Okay, we told them to bring a white or light colored shirt and we pre-cut these split image transfers ahead of time. So when they came in, we we actually pressed because they were nine and ten year old girls. So I didn't want them to burn themselves on the heat press or something. But what we had is with all the different scrap vinyls of glitters and everything else, we had little gymnasts cut out and little stars and little hearts and little this and little that. We had the templates, okay? We had all the rhinestone templates and alphabets to where they could actually, they could actually go and put their, spell their name, brush in the stones. It was cool because they got to make it themselves. 
and they would brush in it, all the stones and do the hot fix tape, bring it over to me. I was over at the heat press and I would say, okay, where do you want your name at? And we would place it there and press it. Okay, where do you want the little glitter gymnast at? And where do you want the butterfly at? And where do you want the star at? And where do you want the number at? And they were able to pick from kind of this grab area of all different types of looks they could accent their shirt with and they freaking loved it so it's a pretty cool idea and we did it just kind of to test that out to see what it would go like and how it would work and basically you can just figure out kind of they're bringing the shirt you got some material cost and it was pretty awesome so something that you can try and you just it doesn't have to be for your kid they, but if you have a location or possibly you could even go to a location and bring your heat press maybe they have the birthday party at their house and you bring it there with them um what do we got what do we got what do we got hold on we trying to What? It's a sting. A scorpion. <laughs> Why would it remind you of a a bald fat guy with sunglasses and a goatee? I'm trying to see that. Where do you see that? I don't see that at all. Make and take parties at the mall? Heck yeah, Todd. That would be sweet. <laughs> Baby shower. That would be cool, too. That would be cool, too. I see a dog. What do you... Is this like when you look at the clouds in the sky and you kind of make something up? You see it. I don't see it. I'm trying to look at it right now and see it. Even like trying to eye squint. You know what? I kind of do see it. I actually do. Is this his head right? That's his forehead right there. That's the right eye of sunglasses, the left eye of sunglasses, and the sunglasses going around his ear. And then this is the mustache of the goatee. Is that right? <laughs> I think I might see what you're seeing. If you squint your eyes a little bit, you can see it. <laughs> How does that even happen? How do you see that, Todd? What's wrong with you? Kneecaps. <laughs> I see it now. I actually do. That's crazy. <laughs> I need a new hat. <laughs> Yeah, I see it. Now that you're looking at it, the guy's kind of looking at an angle. <laughs> Todd's on hour 16. <laughs> All right. Everybody knows about the designing with Matt. Everybody clicked the like button real quick. Click the like button. We need, I need to pick a winner for that. So everybody comment and click the like button real quick. I got to decide what I'm going to pick the winner from. Like button, okay, comment. I know you won't be able to unsee it now. Every time I look at this hat, I'm going to see a dude with sunglasses and a goatee. <clears throat> um, love pink. Can I use a 9 by 12 heat press for shirts? Of course you can. Of course you can. I love mermaids. Pick me. I see Homer Simpson. Do you see Homer Simpson? I don't know, maybe, with the bald head. All right, everybody's commented, everybody's liked. Like on this YouTube, on this YouTube. Click the like button on this YouTube that you're watching. Yep. All right, I'll, 
All right, let me go in here and I am going to find our comment picker. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through and pick our winner actually from, I'm actually going to pick our winner from the comments right now. And here's what I'm going to, here's how I'm going to do it. So the way that I've seen all your comments is right here on my phone. Okay. So we're going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm just going to scroll through all the different comments here and I'm just going to do this and stop and whoever I highlight is who the mini pack winner is. So make sure to hurry up and comment as many times as you can right now. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. And like I said, everybody, I'm going to type it in here real quick. T R W release dash 65. So I just typed it in there. That's the coupon code. Okay. That's the coupon code. You'll be able to see. If everybody could just type in the coupon code, that'll be our comments. Everybody type in the coupon code TRW release dash 65. Remember the mermaid pack two is $10 off plus 65% off until tomorrow. And then the freshwater fish pack, which is fishing pack three, also $10 off plus 65% off using the coupon code that you guys are all typing in right now. All right, TRW release dash 65. And then the designing with Matt, $7 tonight, $7 tonight after the giveaway, I'll bring you back to show you guys where it is again. Designing with Matt, $7 tonight, it'll go to $10. All right, here we go. Scrolling through, I'm going to show you guys here. And I'm not even going to look. And I'll stop right about now. And our winner is... Can you guys see it there? Shari B? I can't pronounce it, but you guys can see it. Shari B? You are the winner of the mini pack of choice. Shoot us an email. Let us know that you won, and we will get you a mini pack of choice. And I got to take a screenshot of this real quick. Boom. Oh, look at this. If you guys are ever bad, I can put you in timeout, Todd. So you better watch it. I never knew I could put somebody in timeout. It's like going back to the high school teaching days. So... If you guys start acting up, I'm going to put you in timeout. Let's see. I do remember it before, and I do remember trying to pronounce it before, and I remember you guys telling me how to pronounce it, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. But, Todd, hold on. Todd, I'm going to put you in timeout real quick. I just want to see what happens. Quick user in timeout. I don't know how to untime out you though. Put user in timeout. Uh oh, Todd. <laughs> I think I put Todd in timeout and I don't know how to untime out him. Was timed out by the Rhinestone World for 300 seconds. Oh, that's awesome. I can't untime out Todd, but but you're <laughs> Todd, you're in timeout for three hundred seconds. <laughs> oh, that's 
awesome. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Okay, Todd, you're in timeout. Go sit in the corner. You only have about, I wonder if Todd can still see and hear me. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I can't untime out him. I thought I would just be able to take him out of timeout, but let me see. No, no, he's in timeout for 300 seconds. That's kind of a long time, isn't it? <laughs> That's kind of a long time in timeout. Okay, he'll be <laughs> he'll be back in a minute, or or more than a minute. Three, he'll be back in 300 seconds. <laughs> All right, let me flip around. Let me show you where I had a couple of you asking where the um, designing with Matt stuff is. So let me get on, I'll show you real quick. Application window, I'm gonna bring it to the website here. <clears throat> I don't know, Suzanne, I don't know if he can still see in here or if he's just in timeout, like he can't comment. I'm not actually sure. I don't have a clue what, what we could do is I think you can invite people. If he comes back from timeout, then we'll try to invite. Yes, TRW release dash 65. Pam, Pam, you're in timeout too. Can, okay. He can see in here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if we just ever want to mute anybody. He can't comment for five minutes. Oh, that's funny. Okay. We miss you, Todd. Flora says he can see in here. All right. So on the site here, on the site, you guys can see the page, obviously, right? And I want to go to... Let's go to the website. <laughs> he's back he's back welcome back how was time out did you learn your lesson second account uh i'm gonna put this one in time out all right so to get to the training okay you don't go to train i saw someone was trying to go there okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the arrows on our sliders right here Three times you'll go to instructor series. Click on the designing with Matt. And then you'll see the one for $7. And that's the one that's on special tonight. And it is going to be on Thursday at 9 p.m. And adding rhinestones to your designs to add value and increase margin. So going to be a different obviously different than our normal one designing with Matt but how to add a lot of value just by adding some stones and then the two the two mini packs that are 65% off just go to shop artwork and mini packs and we have mermaid live template mini pack two fishing live template mini pack three these are the freshwater fish and a whole new mermaid pack Hey Todd, you want to um, you want to test something out here, buddy? Want to give it a go? I'll take you out of timeout. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Todd's got like four accounts, probably. All right, let's see. Invite people. I don't know how to. Oh, 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 oh. I can copy this. Oh, it's not going to be as easy as I thought, I don't think. Five, four cubbies. Thank you, Tanya. Todd. Um. 
trying to think. I want to test this out just to see if this will work. Todd, shoot me a Facebook uh, message with your email address, with which email address you have access to. Just on Messenger. Real quick, I want to try this out and see what the screen share thing's like. Are you at the are you at the uh, at the mall? Are you at your store? Joseph, change your name. Joseph, what did I miss? Joseph, when will the recorded version of Designing with Matt? August 15th and 21st is already available. 15th would be as well, Joseph. I've uploaded them. Joseph, shoot me a um, shoot me a Facebook Messenger as well. If it's not uploaded for some reason, I'll um, I'll get you that, Joseph. But I thought it was uploaded, and I know the twenty first is uploaded. I know that one's on there, but I think the fifteenth is too. Todd, did you shoot me a Facebook Messenger? Yeah, so Norlene watched the 21st one this morning. The 15th is not. Um, Todd at fatdadcd.com. All right, let's try this out. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. I just want to try this. All right, Todd, I just sent you an invite. Invitation posted. Let's see if this actually does anything. Did it come through, Todd? I just sent you an email to that email address. Or I actually might have sent it on Hangouts. Hangouts. Did you get it on there? Let me know if you got it there. Test this out for future. No. All right, just send another email. <laughs> Carrie. Anything come through there, Todd? What the heck? No email, no hangout. That's dumb. Any info on the Wizard 5.0? It's going to be awesome, Suzanne. It's going to be awesome. It doesn't help you much, does it? I guess so. It says invitation posted. I sent it to Todd's email. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's not something we'll be doing anytime soon, it looks like. Wizard 5.0 will be out soon. And not in the near soons, but soon. Pretty soon. TRW release dash 65, yes. Other emails folder. And I got you, Joseph. Um, give me one second. There's so many freaking places on Facebook to look for stuff. Makes it so difficult. Soon, very soon, but not really, really soon. <sighs> Soonish, yes, toy. Soonish. Um, Joe's not seeing you. Can you send it on uh, Facebook? Um, yeah, Kyle, I would say that that's a pretty good timing. I agree, like five will be out before six. Before Christmas, yes. Also a yes. So you guys got it. You guys know how it works. But I can tell you it's going to be pretty sweet. And some stuff I was even working on today with it was pretty amazing. Oh, for Todd to check his other emails folder. Gotcha. Joseph, shoot me a Facebook uh, message for the um, webinar. Because I, I thought it was on there, but if it isn't, shoot me a Facebook message and I'll uh, get it and we'll get that uploaded. Which glue for the flatbacks would you use to use the clear one? I use the clear one and it's messy. Um, Kadisha, Kadesha, Kadisha. Um, did you use the multi grab where it gets a little bit stringier like the E6000? Six to four now. Sweet, Tanya. Um, I use the fabric tack or the fusion tack the most. That's the easiest. And it's the white, but it clears, um, it, it dries clear. That's my favorite. Go Cubbies, you know it, Frankie. All right. What else? Any last questions before we finish up here? Um, Joseph just sent me okay i got that joseph thank you thank you i just got to just that came through look at this this is like live what can you guys name any other owner of a company that's on at 10 38 at night fixing some answering some questions and fixing some questions it's like late night support right um, whatever you want, Todd, let me know. Mine is fireball. <laughs> I blinged out a shoe that is all leather type fabric, which glue the the multi grab is always the going to be the strongest feel to it for all different types of shoes. Um, so either the multi grab or the fabric tack, one of those two. Okay. Um, let me go real quick. Joseph, I'm going to hook you up, buddy. I'm going to hook you up. Let me see here. Short business Q&A. Oh, I like it. The toy, you know it. <laughs> You know it, Toy. 
All right, let me see. Design images. Okay, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Go here. Um, and... All right, Joseph, I just, um, just sent you a link. I agree, Todd. We definitely need to do that. I agree. Joseph, shoot me a thumbs up if you got it. I'm going to get it onto the actual page as well, but shoot me a thumbs up that you got it. I like it. There you go, Toy. All good, Joseph? Um, Joseph, the 21st one I know is definitely on there, but let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Just give me one second. Boom. Yes. Okay. Anne Marie said, if I buy designing with Matt, but can't tune it. <clears throat> yes. A hundred percent Anne Marie. So with all the designing with Matt, you're going to get a coupon code. You're going to get the recorded version. And if it's a design one where I'm like creating a design from scratch, you'll get the design for free as well, but you'll always be able to go back and watch that recorded version at any time. That's the goal is for you to be able to go back and follow along with us. Can I see the fishing palette work with my cameo? Brandy, yes, it, it definitely will work with your cameo. Definitely will work with your cameo because you're going to get those single color versions as well. Hey, Joseph, let me know if you got that second um, link I sent you as well, buddy. But who asked that? Brandy, yes, 100% it will. So what I mean by it will is I'll pull it up just quick here in Corel Draw. So once I get Corel Draw in here, okay. Oh, I actually got to do it. I'm sorry. I got to do it the other way so you can see when I pull up the screen. So let me actually go to here and I want to share a screen. Okay, here we go. So in Corel, if I go to open template, and I'm going to the fishing pack. So fishing pack three is the one that we released tonight. These are all the different templates that are in it. And then it has a bunch of different fish in it as well. So for your silhouette cameo, this is the design you would use for the cameo. Okay. The single color or multicolor one where you can do like two or three colors, which can obviously be done with a vinyl cutter. And then I could grab this fish right here and just go to change artwork and swap it out with the largemouth bass here. And that's a very, very cuttable version of a design like this. I agree. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Toy. We should. And we need to find some shirts as well, Toy, for everybody in Indy. We, how many of you, how many of you were around? How many of you were around back in the day when we used to always have the TRW crew shirts? I think we need to get that back. I think we need to get that back. What we should do, you know what I think I might want to do? This might be an easy way to do it. What if I got, I'm willing to do this, okay? What if we got some transfers 
like just some screen printed transfers made. Just something simple. And maybe it had a saying on the back, like other companies suck or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it, it was a screen printed transfer that we could send you guys maybe with an order that you place online and just give you the transfer for free. And then you can just press it to a shirt to be able to wear it to the trade show. And I'll say like TRW crew on the back and it'll have the TRW logo. And maybe we can even put a, um, a file with where you can accent it with rhinestones or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Wouldn't it? Oh yes, Pam. Of course. You got the crew shirts from the in-house training. Definitely. But honestly, it used to be so cool because what we would do is we just had 30, 40, 50 people walking around this trade show that had TRW shirts on. And I would always tell you guys which booth to go to because I know there's one or two booths that don't like us and don't like me because I share too much information and they get pissed. And then we can just send everybody to that booth at the same time or everybody to that class that'd be pretty fun <laughs> uh, that would be awesome just send everybody to their class with um, the TRW crew shirt on and then just get up in the middle of the class and walk out and you just say sorry I thought this was a TRW class <laughs> I'm so bad. I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. <laughs> Tony, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> uh, you guys, I, you know I wouldn't do that. The other places would try to do it to me. They just don't have awesome crew like you guys Suzanne I still still have your diva shirt sweet a lot of you still have so here's what we can do here's what we'll do all get together we'll get together a file or or something on the website where you can download the files and make for example, your own rhinestone shirt or make your own heat transfer vinyl shirt. Or you can have us put like one of the screen printed transfers in whatever you're shipping, in whatever you're buying on the website. Anything that requires shipping, we can drop that in for you and you can make your own shirt as well. <laughs> I'm not sure. V D V Darst. Who is that? Who are you? I don't know when it's the weird V Darst 214. I think I know what booth I would wear a TRW shirt with pride. <laughs> uh, you guys all know. Uh, yes, of course we will be at the ISS Orlando show. Of course we will. That's we, that's next week. Yes, I agree because we're st we are still here at 10:49 p.m. Joe said I would just uh, made sure I just do decals. Okay, no problem. I'm sure we can figure that out. You know what I want to start doing is just to help you guys out as well. You guys let me know. We're in a brainstorming session now, okay? We're in a brainstorming session. Be around the. I'm finally in Florida and won't be around for the ISL. Oh, man. So we're in Texas, ISS Fort Worth. When, can someone shoot the dates for the ISS Fort Worth? But what I want to end up doing is getting some, not has zero to do with making money. I don't, I, you guys know, I don't like to do kickbacks on stuff. Like when I work with other companies, cause it would 
push me to like something more than something else. So whenever I'm showing different shirts and stuff, if I if you guys go buy a shirt from Sam or go buy a shirt from Jay America or any of that, we don't make any money. I'm just request. I'm just letting you guys know about those shirts because I think they're nice shirts and I think your customers would like them. And if it's a bad shirt, I would say the same thing. But what I'm thinking about doing, you guys let me know if it would help you as well, is I'm thinking about getting with some different companies at these trade shows, having them send me a box of shirts. Because I know they will, because we have 100,000 subscribers and all of you guys live. It'll, it's advertising for their pro product, right? It's smart for them. But telling them that, hey, I'm going to give a real review on this. And I, if I don't like it, or Lorene, if it's a women's shirt, doesn't like it, or Madison doesn't like it, or Jackson doesn't like it, or thinks it doesn't feel good, then we're going to tell people that. So you can send us some stuff to try out and test and do a video on, but we're going to be honest. If we don't like it, we're going to say that we don't like it. And I think that would be really helpful for you guys as well of you guys say, Hey, what's this shirt like at Sanmar? Or what's this shirt like here or in different ones? Do you guys think stuff like that would help you? Like if we tested out different bags and said, okay, what are they like to press these bags or what's the quality of these bags or all these different things? I'm assuming that something like that. I know when I was in the finished product side, if I was able to see something live and ask questions and say, okay, what brand is that? That what style is it? What what's it made of? Can you press this to it? Can you press that to it? I think that would be pretty awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. I'm gonna start talking to some different vendors at the trade shows. Have them send me some different things. Maybe even maybe even some different. Um, even though we necessarily sell them, but you guys you guys let me know. Okay, what about some just inkjet paper that you can print on that you can press to a shirt it isn't going to be the best quality but just testing those different things out and seeing what works so oh are they todd carrying more and more nike stuff sweet please do i have an all-day workshop at I don't know that I should know this, shouldn't I? Do I have an all day workshop at Fort Worth? I can't look on my phone or computer right now because I'm with you guys. You guys can let me know. I think I do. I think I do. Let me know if I have an all day workshop at Fort Worth. I'm pretty sure that I do. And if you could shoot the date of it, that's pretty cool. Okay. So those of you who don't know the all day workshop, Yes, I do. Awesome, Patrice. So the all day workshop, just to give you an idea, Jet Pro paper is good, Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Hey, if you use some of that stuff, Joseph, shoot me an email, put attention mat and put some different stuff that you think is good. And I'll test some of it out and make some videos on it. Definitely. But the all day workshop, you're going to be in there. You're going to make probably a, a visor or a hat in rhinestones. You're going to make a bling anything uh, decal with rhinestones and glitters. You're going to make a shirt. You're going to brush in the stones. You're going to do a foil design. So the really cool thing about that all day workshop is it's a hands on workshop the day before the show. So that's going to be cool. Now I want your guys feedback on something. We are looking to possibly for some of the shows next year. Okay. The forever paper, I've tested some of it out and we've looked into possibly carrying some of it. How many of you use the forever paper? Let me know because I wanted to start doing some research on that and looking into possibly carrying some of it in the warehouse. If you guys are using that and you like it, let me know if you're using it right now. Let me know yes if you like it or no, you don't like it. But we're looking into possibly with some of next year's shows is going to um, possibly going up a day early, not in the workshop, okay? 
not doing the workshop at the show, but doing our own workshop. So here's the downfall, okay? Here's the downfall about an ISS show. We're not allowed to use, um, we're not allowed to use any of our software or do any of our stuff that's TR, TRW stuff. It's pretty crazy. But if we just rent out a room and do like a, almost like a, I wouldn't call it an in-house training because it's in-house and out of the house training. And yeah, my internet connections here really, but I'm at home. It's way better than Facebook. I looked at the speed for the internet here. It's like four over three. It's ridiculous. At home, I'm 290 over 280. But the downfall of Facebook is I can't swap back and forth with Corel Draw and stuff. So that's the biggest issue. Use forever dark, no cut for my Oki. Okay, yes, Eddie, makes sense, makes sense. But how many of you, when it comes to a trade show, would be interested in, and I don't know the exact price yet, but would be interested in a full day workshop the day before the show? whether it's in Fort Worth or Indy or wherever it is. How many of you would be interested in a full day workshop if we were to put that on the day before the show started? Let me know in whatever show you're going to. It doesn't matter. Just trying to get an idea. I would. Me, me, yes, yes. Definitely interested in full DAC Chicago next year. Yes, Long Beach, yes, yes, me, me, me. So I see it's obviously an overwhelming yes, okay? So here's here's the only reason why we haven't done that. Obviously, number one is we got to figure out how much it is to rent the room and all of that stuff, okay? Here's the downfall, okay? In a small eBay store, could I buy a Cameo 3 and make stickers and decals? Um, David Rains, uh, 100 percent yes. 100 David Rains, real quickly, David, go to David, go to the our YouTube channel and search the um silhouette cameo, make money, make money with your silhouette cameo, David Rains, and that'll be the video explaining all of that so simple answer to that question david yes you can make that but the only reason why we haven't been doing it is i was worried the show was going to be upset because i would be pulling people from going to their yes i agree i agree oh jody don't think i haven't thought of that heck yeah but I would be pulling people from their classes that they're making money, obviously pulling people from their classes into my class over at this hotel or wherever it is. Downfall to that is if the show gets pissed at me, then I get a crappy booth space and I, they shut me out on classes or who knows what. So that's the only reason why I haven't done it yet. The only reason I was a little bit worried to do it. But it's to the point now where we've done the shows for plus years and we still don't get great booth spaces and we still don't get to choose our class times. It's getting to the point where we'll just put on our own damn classes, right? And we can teach and talk about whatever we want. Well, yes, and we would do it at the hotel, but obviously they would hear right? They would hear that we're doing the class. And if 20 people, 30 people show up to our class, then they're going to say, well, the rhinestone world just took money from our classes. So yeah, we would, we wouldn't do it at the same location. We would do it nearby in a different location. But again, that's the issue. But you can't make everybody happy, right? I would rather, if I'm going to make anybody happy, I would rather make you guys happy than, than the trade show.
because you guys are where you guys are what makes that trade show as well. If you guys don't show up to that trade show, then we don't show up to that trade show. Anthony Rizzo hits a solo bomb. I like that. Seven four. Thank you, Jason. I just got the alert on my phone. <clears throat> All right, sweet. So we're gonna we're definitely, definitely, definitely gonna look more into that next year. Do you think just a one day? I'm thinking just a one day, right? I'm thinking just a one day. And maybe it could be a just just software, just a Corel, like a full day of Corel Draw Wizard stuff. Because a lot of you probably know how to make stuff, or at least most of the day be Corel Draw Wizard. I agree, Todd. I see. I like your thinking. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, we've thought about that. By the way, we are going to have that camera set up I was talking about earlier. For all of you guys that haven't, that's what I'm, I was going to say, remind me later. How many of you have never been to a trade show before? Anybody in here that's never been to a trade show? Let me know if you've never been. I have an idea for that as well. Full day of Corel would be great. I think that would too. Okay, so we got a good amount of you. Okay, we got a good amount of you that have never been to a trade show. A good, good amount of you. Holy cow. So let me know if this would interest you guys as well. And this would be something that would be completely free. Okay, free is good. We're thinking about having a virtual trade show using our different camera systems. Basically, we'll treat, we'll set up our booth just like we're at a trade show. We'll do trainings just like we're at a trade show. We'll answer questions. We'll do trade show specials. So basically, a lot of you, and here's the thing, a lot of you don't even know about our trade show specials. A lot of you don't even know that. Like, you don't even know what our trade show specials are. And our trade show specials are pretty damn good. So to do something like that, for those of you who can't go to a trade show, and we did a virtual trade show, watch. There's going to be another company that does a virtual trade show now because I just said it and they're watching. That's all right. Ours will still be better. But that would be pretty freaking cool, I think, to just set up the booth. I'll talk. I'll do just like I would do at a trade show. Like I'll... I'll be there at the booth. I'll be going through the whole demo and how to do this and how to design it with the wizard and blah, blah, blah. And then, then we'll get into what all the trade show specials are and the starter kits and the specials on this and boom, 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 all of that stuff. And then we'll maybe in part of it, we'll have a little class on marketing for a virtual trade show and a little class on the cameo and it's it, almost could be like basically throughout the entire day, right? We set up a schedule throughout the entire day. I'm in there for part of the day doing some trainings. Maybe Lisa's in there doing some cameo stuff later. And then Gabe's doing some marketing stuff. And yes, and you can buy during the virtual trade show, which is the part that I think would be freaking awesome. How cool would that be if, if we didn't even have to get up out of off our couch and I didn't have to go pay $20,000 to go to these trade shows. And we just did all virtual trade shows where you never even have to leave. The TRW Home Shopping Network. I like it. And then we can still put Todd in time out, like Kevin said. That's amazing. No expenses to us. But also no expenses to you guys. You guys don't have to take days off work. You don't have to buy a ho get a hotel room for two or three days and and drive to wherever and spend all the money on food and everything else. Wouldn't that be sweet? Just literally we would have the cameras going the entire day. 
the show starts at 10 a.m. and the show ends at 4 p.m. or whatever it is. And we're just doing stuff throughout the entire day like it's a trade show. I think that would be so freaking cool. And then you can go back and you can watch it. And I agree. I think if we did that, save us money. Exactly, Suzanne. I mean, think about this, guys. All right. Nashville trades are insane, right? Okay. So in Nashville, our hotel room is like 260 bucks a night. So think about that. The hotel room is 260 bucks a night. It's a three day show. You stay there two nights, right? 260 bucks. That's $520. I just got you the wizard for free. Plus some bonus money to go get a fireball shot. <laughs> Would that not be sweet? Yes, 260 bucks. It was freaking insane. <laughs> that is a boatload of vinyl, isn't it? All right, crew. 11.06. It's time to rock and roll. Designing with Matt, seven bucks. Tonight, Mermaid Pack 2 and Fishing Pack 3, the Freshwater Pack. All tonight, $10 off each of those TRW release-65. No coupon needed for the Design with Matt. That is on Thursday. Probably tomorrow or maybe Wednesday morning, I will be putting the link for the Cameo giveaway for this week. Like I said, it's going to be Wednesday Wednesday at 9.30. And remember, the Cameo giveaway this week, I told you guys last week, it'll be on um, Facebook Live or YouTube Live, one of you, but you will have to be present to win. Okay? You will have to be present to win. If you are not present and you don't claim it within three minutes, we're going to pick another winner. And I know that you're going to be pissed if you won and we give it to somebody else, but it'll say everywhere that you have to be on live to win. All right. That's giving you guys that are always on here late the advantage. <laughs> Toy. <laughs> All right, crew. Have an amazing night. Thank you for coming by. And I will see you guys soon. Later.